Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to properly set up lighting using Polygon HDR textures in Maya with V-Ray. Okay, so this is the scene that we're gonna be using today. Uh, it's quite a simple scene, just a modeled out house with a camera and uh, yeah, that's about it. There's no materials assigned uh, because we're just focusing on the lighting today. So let's start by bringing in a V-Ray dome light, like so. And I'll just move it over here and up there, there we go. Now if we just, uh, turn on the interactive renderer, we will see that the dome light is, is currently lighting our scene with a default kind of white light from every direction. Which, uh, yeah, not quite what we want, but at least we know it's working. So what we're gonna do now is put a texture in place of that white light. So let's click on here, go to file, and then load in our, uh, our HDR. Now, initially we're gonna start off by just using this 16K EXR, which is a huge, huge file, very, very high quality, um, and would be the one you'd want to use if you're just using the one file. There we go, so now I click on open, give V-Ray a minute to catch up, and we should see some lighting in our scene. There we go, excellent. So, we have lighting in our scene, um, and what we can now do is go into these UV coordinates and adjust the horizontal rotation to uh, get some lighting that we like. Now I kind of think something like that looks pretty nice. Now bear in mind I'm paying attention to the lighting on our model, not this background. But the lighting on the model is exactly how I want it. So now we have two problems. One. This EXR is huge. It's slowing down the render times. It's slowing down just Maya in general. Um, I, I've actually paused the recording <laughs> um, during some of these load times. It, it's it, it's been that bad. So we need to use a, a lower quality image. The other uh, problem that we have is with the lighting in this particular angle, we've got this building in the background which doesn't really tie in scale-wise or angle-wise with the rest of our scene. It looks out of place and a bit strange. Um, so we need to fix both those problems. Now, first of all, what I'm gonna do is click on the dome light again, click on the texture, and I'm gonna replace this texture with the 2K EXR. So I drastically scaled down version of the original 16K one. Now, you'll notice two things. One, the lighting really hasn't changed. The, the quality of the lighting looks pretty much identical. In fact, it looks identical. Um, even though it's a greatly reduced resolution HDR. But it's immediately apparent in the background that we're using a lower quality image. So even if we wanted to use this particular angle, which we don't, because of that stupid big building. <laughs> but even if we, uh, even if we did, we couldn't really get away with it because of the resolution of the uh, of the image. It, it doesn't look very good. So we're going to solve both these problems. So I'll click on the dome light once again, and we've got a bunch of different options down here. One of them being invisible. When you turn that on it then disappears from the background. We're no longer seeing our lighting uh, as the background. It's just affecting the actual lighting in the scene, which is good. So now I'm gonna add in another dome light. Okay, and I'm gonna move that one over here. And you can see this is lighting our scene now because it's replacing or, or certainly adding to the, the lighting from the other HDR. So what I want to do, and in fact, first I'm gonna turn this one off completely, just so we can focus on this second one that we've created. And what I'm gonna do with this one is turn off its effect on the actual render. If I uncheck all of these, leave invisible off, we're now literally just seeing it as a background. It's not doing anything to our scene, which means we can use a different image to power this. So if I, again, use a texture, open up a file, and what we can use instead is the 16K JPEG. Now, JPEG doesn't contain anywhere near the amount of lighting information that a EXR does, but in terms of 
what it will look like visually as a backdrop, it will look the same as HDR, super high resolution. Um, if I quickly uh, get this to roughly the same sort of angle as our lighting, um, you can now see the backdrop is super high resolution again, and it's not having an effect on our scene. Perfect. Just for pointing it out, I'm going to turn this on for a second, just so you can see what I mean by a JPEG. Even though this is a really high resolution JPEG, it's not lighting our scene properly. Yeah, and there's no shadows. It's just this kind of grey sort of look, and that's because a JPEG just doesn't have the information we need for lighting. So that's why we're going to use that solely as the background, and then we'll use the original dome light with the low resolution HDR as our lighting. And now we have the best of both worlds. Yeah. So all we need to do now is go back to the second dome, the one with the JPEG in it and adjust the position of it so we can get rid of that building. So what I'm going to do, and you, you want to be careful here not to rotate too far away from the one from the rotation that the lighting's using, yeah? Because if we were keeping elements or many elements in the background, like say these trees or say if there was more of that going on, we'd start to notice that the lighting like the direction of the shadows doesn't match up with the lighting in our scene and it wouldn't look right, which isn't really what we want to do. But in my case here, I'm actually going to make it so you can't really see anything. There's maybe a little tree here, but it's barely noticeable. I mostly want sky. And uh, yeah, that's what we have now. So we have a nice low resolution uh, HDR lighting our scene and a high resolution JPEG providing the backdrop. So in summary, we've downloaded some HDR files from polygon.com, brought them into Maya, set it up so that the low resolution EXR is powering our lighting uh, while we're using a high resolution JPEG to provide our background and all this has been rendered out in V-Ray. <laughs>